today? It's Friday. <laughs> today is sick because I'm doing something different. But first, I just want to mention the fact that it's really cool that I've had almost every day a video this week, I feel like. I, I, I can't remember for sure, but I think I've posted... At least by today, it'll be four videos this week. I think so. Father's Day of painting. So yeah, it feels like it's been every day this week. But anyways, I'm going to do something new. I'm going to paint my bag. I'm going to take this spot. I'm going to do some stuff on here. I'm going to do some like flowery stuff because it's free handy and I don't know what else to put on it. And I think it would, be li I think it would look pretty cool. So that's what we're going to do. This is the bag. I've tested the marker here. You can see the uh, red mark. It actually comes out like super solid. So that's just an example. So we're going to see what I can create on this. See how cool it looks. And then maybe we'll go for a walk and I can fashion it up for you. Maybe my girlfriend can look all good and show it off to you guys. All right. Okay. So because this bag is a bag, uh, it's going to be very hard to just draw on a surface that's so malleable, if you'd like to use that word. So I'm grabbing a sketchbook and I'm going to pop it inside. I tested this yesterday and I think it'll work. I'm going to have to move it around in certain areas, but I'm pretty sure I can manage with it. So what I figured is if I just have the hard cover of the sketchbook, like kind of, it's hard to do, tightly wrapped like this for the initial area. And then if I kind of just, I don't know, you get the idea. I'm going to figure it out. And then obviously I can draw on that surface if I just keep it tight or something like that. So this is experimental and it's also going to be really fun for me because it's something I've never painted and I'm actually so fucking excited because this is something I can wear out. I've always wanted to do shoes or hats or something but I've never had an extra pair of shoes or hats or something to paint that was the right color. Um, but as you can see this is going to show pretty well. So we're going to go into it and we're going to see what happens and I hope you guys like this video. We'll talk about it at the end.
Okay, so we're back and honestly that was a cool adventure because I literally went outside to show you guys the bag and I was just gonna walk and you guys were gonna see it mm -hmm. and we went to the skate park and there was a dude there and I was brave and asked him if he'd do a little trick with the bag on and he did. He did and it was so, cool. So I hope you guys thought that was kind of neat and uh, yeah. So I have a couple things though that I want to say about this bag. Here is the bag close up by the way. Um, so basically when I did this, I knew already that it was gonna be difficult to do but I didn't know how hard it was gonna be. Uh, I knew the markers were gonna work because I tested them, of course, but I also knew that when you do things like a bag or shirts or things like that, you're supposed to use some sort of thing to prepare it, like gesso or gesso, however you pronounce it, or like Mod Podge or whatever that kind of stuff is, but I don't have any of that and I don't have the money to buy it, so I literally just experimented and went with whatever came out, and uh, I'm actually really shocked because it came out like super crisp, like it's, it's proper, it looks really, really good, so. I don't know. Um, one thing I'd say is I don't recommend doing this for anybody, even with the Molotovs, because it did take me a lot of time. As you saw in the video, I had to like pour paint from the bottle to get it to seep in so that it would be thick. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing this again, but honestly, if you do want to do it one time and you have the extra paint, paint and like you have a sick idea, do it because it's pretty freaking cool. I mean, it comes out really, really dope. It's just that if you're if you're trying to save yourself paint and it's not really something you really want to do and you're not sure if it's going to look good, then I personally wouldn't suggest it. But anyway, uh, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see stuff more like that, painting objects, things like that. I'll try and find ways to, to do more of that. I'd like to do more of it. It's just hard because spare cash isn't always easy. Um, but anyway, that's it. Let me know. Take it easy, guys.